Uganda women's efforts to save orphans, Masulita Children's Village in Wachiso District, accommodates over 1,000 vulnerable and street children from different parts of the country and on the streets of Kampala. Commissioned in 1989, the center comprises of a children's home, a farm, a vocational training institute, providing alternative care and psychosocial support to 150 abandoned and former street children from different parts of the country. The center administrator sets now a challenge to provide necessities to these children. The numbers are big. We need to help them to have what to put on. And majorly, we also need uh, counselors and social workers. It's something that is not an easy thing. Some of them, their backgrounds are not easy to make them able to adopt to the right way of thinking. So we need help. There are many, many, they don't have mattresses, but there's a lot really. Every data center needs 500 kilograms of maize flour and 800 kilograms of beans to feed the children. With beans, we, because we can't afford good food, but these are little children who are growing up. They need good food. They need milk. They need meat. They need nutrients. And also we need uh, medical uh, uh, services to them. They need help, really. CMA has come to the center for rescue by providing scholastic materials, including food relief items. We bought some computers or laptops for the people who are supporting the kids to be able to communicate to other people out of the world and to also support the kids so that at least they can get the basics that can move them from where they are to another level. Dr. Wandila, however, condemns parents who abandoned their children on the streets. And looking at Uganda and looking at the fact that the government is trying so much to support in having the youth employed, the vocational training they're doing for kids, it's important for people to understand that sending kids on the street to solicit for you know small petty cash for them is not right at all. And we should fight against that because it's, as he, my colleague mentioned, it's like child trafficking in our country. The chief executive officer, you will saw. A proud CMSCMG for the support towards the center. I know most of our, our Ugandans are used to these foreign NGOs who are not even giving us the best that we want. But this one is of its kind. That's why you see numbers are increasing and government is working with us so closely because government has, uh, there are no known homes which can manage such children. So please be our ambassador there to keep on telling the people and mobilize men much more so that we help our Ugandans. Deborah Nema Monde, UBC News.